Chapter 31 I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I look upon a young woman? For what is the allotment of God from above, and the inheritance of the Almighty from on high? Is it not destruction for the wicked, and disaster for the workers of iniquity? Does he not see my ways, and count all my steps? If I have walked with falsehood, or if my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed on honest scales, that God may know my integrity. If my step has turned from the way, or my heart walked after my eyes, or if any spot adheres to my hands, then let me sow and another eat. Yes, let my harvest be rooted out. If my heart has been enticed by a woman, or if I have lurked at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind for another, and let others bow down over her. For that would be wickedness. Yes, it would be iniquity deserving of judgment, for that would be a fire that consumes to destruction, and would root out all my increase. If I have despised the cause of my male or female servant, when they complained against me, what then shall I do when God rises up? When he punishes, how shall I answer him? Did not he who made me in the womb make them? Did not the same one fashion us in the womb? If I have kept the poor from their desire, or caused the eyes of the widow to fail, or eaten my morsel by myself so that the fatherless could not eat of it, but from my youth, I reared him as a father, and from my mother's womb I guided the widow. If I have seen any one perish for lack of clothing, or any poor man without covering, if his heart has not blessed me, and if he was not warmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the fatherless when I saw I had help in the gate, then let my arm fall from my shoulder, let my arm be torn from the socket. For destruction from God is a terror to me, and because of his magnificence I cannot endure. If I have made gold my hope, or said to fine gold, You are my confidence, if I have rejoiced because my wealth was great, and because my hand had gained much, if I have observed the sun when it shines, or the moon moving in brightness, so that my heart has been secretly enticed, and my mouth has kissed my hand. This also would be an iniquity deserving of judgment, for I would have denied God who is above. If I have rejoiced at the destruction of him who hated me, or lifted myself up when evil found him, indeed I have not allowed my mouth to sin by asking for a curse on his soul. If the men of my tent have not said, Who is there that has not been satisfied with his meat? But no sojourner had to lodge in the street, for I have opened my doors to the traveller. If I have covered my transgressions as Adam by hiding my iniquity in my bosom, because I feared the great multitude and dreaded the contempt of families, so that I kept silence and did not go out of the door, Oh, that I had one to hear me! Here is my mark. Oh, that the Almighty would answer me, that my prosecutor had written a book! Surely I would carry it on my shoulder, and bind it on me like a crown. I would declare to him the number of my steps. Like a prince I would approach him. If my land cries out against me, and its furrows weep together, if I have eaten its fruit without money, or caused its owners to lose their lives, then let thistles grow instead of wheat, and weeds instead of barley. The words of Job are ended.